What is going on today, ladies and gentlemen? So, as you know, we've been looking for a quad axle dump truck to add to our fleet this spring. And uh, I want someone, some guy I knew, just text me a picture of this truck, and like, hey, this one's for sale. There was no contact info, nothing. So I looked in a little bit. I ended up finding out who it was. And it was a company out of Wisconsin uh, called Sober Team Sober. They did water, sewer, excavating, um, trucking. So anyway, long story short, I ended up in this. Ended up some it was about four an hour drive in Wisconsin. Ended up at this guy's shop. He had 118 or 120 quad axle dump trucks. And just so happened, the owner came to um, to show us around. We were looking at this Kenworth. It was a T800. And uh, this guy showed up there, his name was Scott, and we started talking to him at, and like right away I'm just like, wow, like this guy had like uh, an, an energy about him that like I've never seen in any other human to be honest. He was so, so confident and like he had, he put out like this positive energy that like I could see people swarming to and wanting to absorb. Like you really had to pay attention to have a good conversation with the guy, but he was, uh, he was very, very inspiring. Like he's done something that I've, that He's done something that I've ne never seen anyone else do. So he said, yeah, in the summer, he's like, uh, I wouldn't have 20 minutes to come here and talk to you. So then right away, I clicked in my head like, okay, I'm here right now, you're standing in front of me, I need to get at least some kind of video. So he's a little bit older, he's like, uh, I think he was 33. So he he's not really like, he hasn't he doesn't do much social media, does a little bit of Instagram, Facebook, doesn't do any YouTube. Anyway, so I'm like, hey Scott, you know, uh, while, while you're standing right here in front of me, I got my camera, I wanna shoot, uh, we gotta shoot a couple minute video. And he's like, okay, so to be honest, his whole demeanor shifted a little bit when I pulled up the camera. Because he's not used to being a camera, maybe he wasn't as comfortable with it, I don't know. But So I, I threw a few questions at him and he answered them. And uh, yeah, he was very, very inspiring. Um, very inspiring to me. And uh, I'll roll a clip here, a couple minute clip that I got with him. And uh, yeah, just uh, comment below who inspires you, who it was. Who inspires you? How they inspired you? Was it did they teach you how to do something? Did they, you know, just because not not in all trades, not everything that like, has to be hands on, you know, showing like they can give you, you know, good tips and advice that can, you know, help you take your business to the next level. So comment below who that was for you. Was was it your mom, your dad, your, you know, someone you grew up with, someone you, that you met and you knew and you got to know? Or, but yeah, anyway, this guy, uh, he was very inspiring to me and he was, I would love to, uh, to meet up again with, with him sometime and just to talk and pick his brain. So, all right, I'll roll a clip right now. All right guys, today I'm here with Scott from Soper. Soper Start. Sewer Soper in Water, sewer. grading, excavating, and trucking. And trucking, okay. Yep. So, so where did you start and where's, uh, where are you at today? I started out in my parents' backyard with a lawnmower. Uh, started out with uh, real small landscaping and today we are uh, 118 dump trucks. Uh, we've got 26 excavators, 12 wheel loaders, uh, six sewer crews, um, and we're in uh, three different cities, Madison, Oshkosh, and Green Bay. Okay. And how many, how many employees and, uh, and how long have you been in business? Uh, how long did you start? Roughly uh, 200 employees right now. Um, I started out by myself with a friend uh, cutting grass when I was 18 years old. So. Okay. Yep. Um, 200 employees, okay. And uh, so you guys pretty much do just about just about everything, 118 quads. What have you? Uh, what are some of the things you've learned? Like, really, what does it take to scale a business to this size? Uh, structure, infrastructure is the biggest thing. Having good people you surround yourself with, and uh, having nice equipment where guys want to come work and they want to be in a, a nice piece of machinery that they can run and enjoy every day. So, mm -hmm. and taking care of your employees is the biggest thing. Keeping your guys happy and uh, doing things for them that's above and beyond. So, as we pride ourselves on here. Okay. If you uh, if you were to start over and uh, start over again, is there anything you would uh, anything particular you do differently? Oh, I would have probably structured things maybe a little bit differently. How, how, uh, how differently than they are today? Um, I would have probably hired some other managers. Uh, just sooner? Probably sooner than mm -hmm. uh, than than I, where I am now. But uh, as far as as far as my work ethic, ambition, I wouldn't have changed anything. Uh, mm -hmm. I gave it the best I could since I was uh, 18 years old. So mm -hmm. here we are today at 30, 33. So. Okay. <laughs> so what's your what's your plan for the future? What are you planning on doing with that? I mean, company? really, really, the sky's the limit here. I mean, we. We were talking about going to Florida, we talked about going to Texas, uh, Iowa. We do a lot here in Wisconsin, Northeast, Madison uh, area, and we do work down in Rockford as it is right now with snow plowing, but I mean, sky's the limit. We just gonna keep on going, so. Mm -hmm. And what, uh, what kind of education did you have? Do you go to school just, or anything? Just high school education, nope. Just a little work ethic, ambition. I like to work outside, be around big equipment and trucks, and, and uh, mm -hmm. that was it. Do you have uh, you have any uh, particular mentors, anyone that's helped you uh, significantly throughout the process? Uh, yeah, my mom and dad, they've been my two biggest uh, supporters pretty mm -hmm. much since uh, since I was a kid. So mm -hmm. anything I did, they uh, they were there for me, so. And what do, they do? what do they do for a living? 
Uh, my dad's a plumber and my mom ran the plumbing business for my dad and then she works for uh, the current businesses now, the Soper uh, grading, excavating, and trucking business. Okay. So. Well, let's negotiate on a price for one of these trucks. <laughs> Sounds good. Take a All couple right. home. All right, thanks for your time. All right, so this one was kind of short and sweet. Let me know if you thought this video in the comments below. Brand new video every Wednesday and Saturday. We're gonna see how this goes. I'll do my best to get get something out to you guys every Wednesday and Saturday. And remember, in order to get results that no one else is getting, you've gotta do things that no one else is doing. Peace.